Hey guys, we are back for another video. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified when we do upload. Also hit that thumbs up um, if you like the content. So guys, we are talking about um, Tasha K um, and Cardi B. As you all know, you know, Cardi B sued Tasha K and won that defamation lawsuit. Um, and then, you know, Tasha K went and filed bankruptcy because basically Cardi B was garnishing those YouTube checks. Um, so go back on my YouTube channel. I have an entire section dedicated to Tasha K versus everybody. And the reason why I have that section and it's named Tasha K versus everybody, because since Cardi B's lawsuit, Tasha K was sued by, um, another individual. So I just gave her her entire section on my YouTube channel. Go check out those videos. I did um, follow this. And then obviously after Tasha K filed bankruptcy, um, everything was kind of, you know, people were waiting around to see um, what was going to happen. So guys, let's just go back and, and talk about this and um, and let me give you an update. So we all know that this started roughly in 2018, right? So that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, about five years ago, maybe even six years ago. You know, Tasha K was posting things about Cardi B, very explicit, very damaging things, you know, saying Cardi B had a sexually transmitted disease, just a bunch of things in poor taste, just tasteless. Um, you know, in that particular situation, Cardi B asked her to take the videos down. Um, Tasha K became vulgar um, and always on attack, calling her every name you can think about. You would actually think that Tasha K and Cardi B used to be friends um, because I don't understand how Tasha K has so much hostility for someone that she never met before. Um, so anyways, after so many attempts, Cardi B did what she thought she needed to do. Um, and ultimately Cardi B won. And I believe the lawsuit is a $3.8 million lawsuit, if I'm correct. Um, so here's the deal. Tasha K, you don't have 3.8 million, sweetheart. You're not even worth 2 million. Um, so the thing of it is, guys, <laughs> don't write a check your ass cannot cash because at this point Tasha K has had to file bankruptcy destroy her credit run away from Georgia um to Florida when all of this could have been avoided all she needed to do was take them damn videos down so because she failed and did not take the videos down and she wanted to get clout for something so stupid and so minuscule she has uprooted her entire family ruined her financials and now she has to submit information to a court to see if they will even approve her bankruptcy. Cardi B is worth way more than 3.8 million. She has the money to drag this out as long as she would like. And Tasha, you don't. So I just don't understand how you allowed this to go this far. Um, Cardi B is not backing down. And guess what? I, I really can't really blame her. Um, there's a lot of individuals saying like, why why won't Cardi just let it go, let it go? Um, Cardi has her reasons for why she is pursuing this. And you know what? I, I can't be mad because if it were done to me and somebody is on social media using their platform to tell people I have a disease that I don't have, that is very problematic. So let's get into what's going on today in today's state. Um, Tasha K has offered to set up quarterly payments of $220,000 to settle her defamation case with Cardi B. Um, so basically, Tasha K is stating she does not have the 3.8, but she'll give you $220,000. So according to court 
documents obtained by XXL um, this week, the YouTube blogger asked to set up a payment plan to handle the outstanding debt she accrued from the lawsuit. Earlier in the week, Tasha filed a plan of reorganization in her Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing, which figured out how Tasha would handle her debt. Um, so basically, she is laying out a plan as to how she's going to pay Cardi B. Um, but the problem is, it's short. Let's say by, I don't know, three points. I don't know. It's short. <laughs> Tasha's petition stated that she has about $50,000 to $100,000 in total assets while she's sitting in a $1 million to $10 million in total debt. How does one have $1 to $10 million in total debt and not even have $2 million? That is a problem. Among her assets, it states that it's a she has a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado. Among her um, other assets, she has a home, furniture. Um, says her furniture is worth five hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't know about that. And twenty five hundred worth of what is it? Clothes and two Louis Vuitton purses. To settle the $3.8 million lawsuit with Cardi, Tasha will pay the rapper $222,000 in 20 quarterly payments. The 30-year-old artist has yet to respond to Tasha K's proposed payment plan, but will get the chance to vote on its approval. So this is um, related to um, had Cardi be accepted. Well, the issue here is if it's accepted or not, Cardi B's debt is non-dischargeable, which means Tasha can very well go through the bankruptcy and then after it's over, then Cardi B will go after her again. And guess what? She won't be able to file bankruptcy because you can only file, um, um, I can't remember, I think it's seven years, every seven years or something like that. Um, so yeah. So it says Tasha's next confirmation hearing is set up for October 23rd in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It states Cardi B may go through the payment plan, especially given how aggressive she has been in getting her money from Tasha K. Um, yeah, Ta Cardi B has been very aggressive. She's not playing with Tasha. And I believe it's because Tasha has repeatedly come out after her like it's almost sickening if someone won a lawsuit against me for anything why would i be online still with that person's name in my mouth tasha just recently exposed cardi b's husband and said said he was like cheating so it's like not only do you not have the money to pay this woman you're actually going online taunting her and her family um so I think this is, you know, again, you wrote a check that your ass couldn't cash. And that is where we are with this particular situation. Um, so it basically states that Cardi B has gone as far as not even accepting Tasha K's apology after the, ver the verdict was decided. And this is the thing. I think um, Cardi B is tired. Like she is tired and basically she wants her money and that's all she wants. And guess what? I, we can't really be mad at her because I have never saw anybody taunt anybody, especially an adult woman taunting another woman in her family. Like this is weird, borderline weird. Um, so yeah, you guys let me know what you think think in the comments um i don't know do you think cardi b should just walk away from the 3.8 million and just consider it non-collectible or do you think she should continually pursue whatever measure she needs to pursue to actually collect on the debt that she's owed and then what do you guys think about tasha k um it 
recently um, has come out. Well, I won't say recently, within a, a few months, you guys can go to my YouTube channel and watch that video. Again, it's under the category Tasha K versus everybody. Um, there's another person that's actually suing, suing Tasha, I believe for 60 million or something crazy like that. So I don't know, guys. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And as always, we will see you in the next video.